Whoa, how did you like that, my friend? Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So when you throw a right hand, okay. you step here. See when you step okay. inside? So now I'm here. You, you can't get me. Well, I'm not going to stay there for long. Left jab, left jab. Again. See your right hand. Okay. Just take this hand here, pull it okay. down, and go bang. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to hit you with a right hand right okay. there. Okay. And then I'm going to follow up there and put you down the ground, okay? So let me just show you a couple really quick things. Get up. Get up. <laughs> So that's earlier this summer. Jerry Cooney got me, and then you began this show by knocking out yeah, Alan. You took a so. dive. At least I tried to fight back. But we're back, and we're ready to talk to you. Listen, I didn't get a chance to hit you with my hook. I mean, it well, just fell right down. At the like, end of the yeah. segment, maybe you get another chance. So you got a new book out. It's called uh, Gentleman Jerry. and uh, I tell people all the time, I just finished my first book. Now I'm going to read another one. <laughs> What, uh, look at the handsome guy on yeah, the cover, though. Is this the same guy here or what? <laughs> What's the motivation uh, for putting uh, this out? You know, it was about my life, the chronicles, what went on in my life, the good days when I was a kid. I had a tough upbringing. I wasn't supposed to get to where I got to. I wasn't supposed to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world because I was kind of knocked down all the time, told you're not going to make it, you're no good, you're a failure. And with all that in me, I still had to fight in me to get up, climb up those four steps. You know, in that... In that boxing bout in Madison Square Garden, I was 16, 6'4", 160 pounds. And uh, I, all I knew is that if I won the championship, I was going to Herman Sporting Goods and they were going to give me a free heavy bag. <laughs> and the next morning I was there by 8 o'clock in the morning and they didn't open up till 10. <laughs> and so, you know, from, from where I came from, my father was a raging alcoholic, tough upbringing, uh, a lot of bad stuff went on in the household. And for me to get in the ring to face Larry Holmes for the heavyweight championship of the world, with all that I had been through and got how difficult it was to get there. And there's a story there. And, uh, and, and, the, and the best part about it that most people can relate to is we all got to struggle for life. We all get knocked down. We, a lot of people get stuck down. You got to get up, dust off your pants and move on. And that's what I was able to do um, many years ago. And so I wanted to finally came out of me and I wanted to get rid of it. And it was very healing for me as well to tell the story about all the great fights I had, some of the mistakes I made. And, you know, it was a, it was a Glory, I had a great life. I mean, that was amazing. I traveled the world over and over again, met the greatest people in the world. I once went to a party at Caesar's Palace a couple weeks before I fought Holmes with everybody I ever wanted to meet, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Muhammad, everybody I ever wanted to meet my whole life, Jack Nicholson. He, they were that there. was a huge event. Wow. You yeah. against Holmes in Vegas at the time yeah. was a huge event. But for me, I had five or six guys I went to school with and we were hanging out together, eating turtle soup and lobster tail. <laughs> we didn't care about anything. I was getting a chance to fight Larry Holmes. And just the whole story, you know, to make it to that level from where I came from wasn't supposed to happen. And I'm here to tell people, you can make it. You got to keep asking the question. You got to put your hand up. You got to let people know what's going on in your head. You, when you were here last, a couple of months ago, watch it, <laughs> that, that, that was actually something that you said that I found like the most compelling and actually used it over and over again. Because you said it's, it's not just a story about a fighter, but yet it is a story about fighting. It's about getting knocked down right. but getting back up each time. That's the story of life, basically. Right. And you've said that before. And it's not just for you what goes on in the ring. And clearly in your life, and you've been open about uh, addiction and, and alcoholism in your life, that that's been the story of your life. Not just getting up when you're in a ring, but... You've had to do that in life as well. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, this story, I, I, I grew up sitting in the back of the room. If you couldn't see me, you wouldn't bother me because that's how it was in my house. And what I found out at the age 12, I drank a bottle of Boone's Farm apple wine, that big hole that I've been carrying around all my life. When I drank that Boone's Farm apple wine, it went away. I felt attractive. I fit in. I was funny. And little did I know, as sick as I got that night and swore I was never going to do it again, the next day I woke up, I forgot all about that. And I remember where that big hole went away, and for the next 20 years, I drank it, and it was the stress of not really believing and hiding the pain. But why didn't boxing fill that hole for you? Because you had success. I, I was fighting for my life. Every time I got in that ring, listen, you got to figure out, you, know, you grew up the hard way, too. I mean, I, I'm getting in the ring every day with four or five sparring partners, and, I've got, and one guy's in there with me trying to knock my head off, and I got four guys outside watching him to see where they can get me. Hmm. So I'm developing everything. It's a lot of stress, a lot, a lot oh, of going yeah. on. I had to yeah. keep fighting for my life every day. It was not easy. It was a hard task. It was a fun task because I liked, I was a good puncher. I liked what it did for me. It made me somebody. And, uh, and it, was a, it was a great life, man. How did you manage your career and the addiction at the same time? How did you function at such a high level? You know, you, you, you hide it. You, you do things. You, uh, I mean, sometimes uh, there was... Uh, 
you drink and you, in order to drink, then to train the next day, you would take a pain pill to make it away. Like in football, they had a lot of guys taking Percodans and stuff like that to mask, the, mask that hangover. And you get through it and you get through it. Then one time I, I ripped my rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that that doesn't work. You got to find out the, uh, those problems, answer those questions to all those problems you have, and then take yourself into the ring. That was the greatest experience for me. You told me earlier, but, but again, I'll ask you, how long has it been since you had a, a drink? You know, I, I can't remember, 31 years. 31 years? Thir 31 years, April 21st, 1988, was the last time I sat down with a friend of mine, Jack B. New York, he was a, a, one of my bodyguards. Who he, I went to, the, to a restaurant, uh, Pinky Cash, he called me, he said, sit down for me, he said, Jerry, I have three years today. You never have to drink again. That was the last time I picked up a drink. Wow. And it's been a journey to learn about all those things I never really looked at while I was numbing myself out mm -hmm. and being busy in the fight game. But we have to, or we don't, we don't, we don't get anywhere. Speaking well, of journey, you, you, you've been traveling a ton, right, promoting Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and are you amazed how many people find, you know, when they see you and remember things? You know, it's amazing. I went to London, Ireland, Wales, twice to Canada. You know, wherever I go, I mean, those, those, back in those days, June 11, 1982 was a great day, not just for me, even in losing, but for all those people and uh, the stories I heard from them and the, uh, the joy that we brought to them back in the days. And, you know, today we talk about it a lot. Larry Holmes and I are the best of friends. Mm -hmm. we, we hang out, we make appearances all year long. Uh, I'm still trying to get in a fight one more time. I got my kids in school now. It's cost me a fortune. <laughs> Join the club. One more fight. Join the club. One more fight. <laughs> all right, so... <clears throat> we began this segment. You're trying to show me some technique. Oh, Come on over oh, here. Oh, All right. Go. This story. You know, turn I want to turn I, the camera off. I want to master <laughs> Jerry that <laughs> lethal left hook. You want to master the falling I, down? No, I want to. I want to dive for I the want, corner. I want to master that lethal left hook that helped you have such success. Well, so, All right. So, so help me. Okay. Now, now stand up. Relax. Okay. Relax. <laughs> relax. Hands okay. up. Stand up. Okay. Relax. Nice okay. and easy. Okay. You're gonna step to the left. Step with my right leg. Step to the left with your left foot. No, to my the left. Le my left foot's over here. Okay, step to the left. Okay. Slide. No, no, watch. You're going to step, slide out. Okay. Step out. Step okay. out, slide, okay. pull your head down. This way. And, and let the punch go. Turn your knee. So watch me. I step, slide, pull my head down. Okay. I step, slide. So I put okay. all my weight on my left leg, load this leg up, and then I pull it down okay. with my hand. Okay, Sorry, ready? Nice and easy. Ready? Relax. Stand up straight. Okay. Hands up in your face. Okay, ready? Relax. Ready? Step, slide, straight, stand up, pull. Uh, no, come on, what I is that? It. I got it. I'm going to kill you, bro. Was, that was no, it. Relax. No, okay. relax. Okay. Foot forward. Okay. So I want you to you bend that knee like that. Okay. And come down like that. That's okay. it. That's a hook. Okay. Stand up, try it again. Okay. Pull down. Okay. Yeah, relax, pull down. I don't think this is going very it's well. It's going very well. <laughs> very well. Pull down. <laughs> this foot forward. This foot <laughs> forward. Okay. This foot All right. Pull All right. Down. down. Easy. Down. Relax. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> he can't do it. He can't do it. what? Boom. I think some people are hopeless causes. Oh, no, 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 no. Thanks for dropping by. Great to see you we guys. We did our best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck with the book. More. We, should, we should have worked <laughs> about three months early. All right. The uh, book is uh, Gentleman Jerry, and he wasn't much of a gentleman in the uh, ah. writer. No, great to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Great to All meet right. you guys. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.